Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler along with Dick Vitale. Welcome to the second round of the NIT. Let's see how this game unfolds between the Cincinnati Bearcats and the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Tonight we've got an intriguing matchup at the point guard position. Number one is might be the best pure shooter on the floor tonight. His counterpart tonight is known for being a true leader out there on the court. He'll be the one controlling the tempo tonight. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court and we'll see how this one plays out. The Golden Gophers are prepared to fight tooth and nail in this one, Dick. What are the keys to victory? If I'm their coach, the keys would be these. First, I look at the point guard to step up tonight and really take control of his club. Second of all, reward your big man for working hard down low. Get him the ball, baby. If he has position, get the rock to him immediately. And lastly, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get the one stuck. Job defensively, they just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Pressure that basketball. Up fake. They'll work it around the arc from three point range. He hits it. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him, and I'd see what happens. And there's lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Number one with the fake. Jumps into the defender. Number one, makes the finger roll. They scored seven in a row. On the outside. Get that sucker out of the game, man. With a quarterback pass. They're ripping up the Nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. It's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught. It's just responding in a positive way. by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. It's the shot off the baseline. Sinks the shot. For two. And off the mark. Oh, yes. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Number 33 fakes the shot for the bucket. Perfectly executed. How about an instant replay? The skip pass is picked off. The point guard receives the pass. They look to get it to the inside. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. He shoots from the baseline. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. 
fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect for saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. The center handles the pass. He makes a nice shot fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The small forward handles the feed. Trying to feed inside. Pump fakes. Number 52 receives the ball. Sinks it. Feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. Sets the screen for his teammate. Up and inside. With a deep shot from outside. He gets it to go. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from right of the circle. He gets the bucket. Try to go inside. Entry pass in the paint. Look at that spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul, Dick. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Dumps it in. Boy, terrible execution on offense. With a deep pass. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. The Golden Gophers will step to the line for the first time. First shot is good. Second shot is no good. Tries for two, and he scores despite the half. the dribble as they regroup. He shoots from long range. And he misses the shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. For two, Minnesota have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. around the arc. Up and inside. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Number 50 is feeling great out there right now. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. Big man spins down the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Steals the ball. Good athletic move. Very athletic. Got great athletic. That's 
spin move is not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. On the outside. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. Goes up for two. In and out. Team takes it away. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert. Get the number game going. Definitely changed in that regard. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect for so saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Gave it up. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I'll tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, before the game, both coaches and players said they were looking forward to tonight's matchup. Whose weaknesses will be exposed and who will really step up, guys? Second shot, good. Right to the defender. They work it around the perimeter. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. He fires from long range. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. For two. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. A little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I'll tell you, trying to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Controlling the ball. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I'll tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper, looking for the foul. Perfectly executed. Offensively, I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. 
<laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? They're going to move it around the perimeter. Good job defensively. Look at speed. I'll tell you, man, there's nothing like cap the bucket and a foul. He made a statement of that play, baby. I ain't backing down. This is crime. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. Terrible free throw. And that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight, Dick. Yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. Robs him of the ball. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Takes away the pass. Fakes the shot. He's going nowhere. Ball going nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. They work the perimeter. Got it in the low block. Minnesota have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. For the bucket, drains the shot. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. In the paint. There's the trap. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Gave it up. He up fakes. Fakes a jumper. Goes up for two. I tell you, does a great job getting close position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Steals the pass. Tries for two. Up. Easy one. <laughs> On the inside. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Here they come now on a turnover. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He comes away with it. Fast break opportunity here. out of play. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers, and look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing, coaches go nuts if that stat's negative and absolutely makes you lose the air and you get bored like I am. Takes the pass in the paint. He puts it in with contact and all. Comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They let him get into a rhythm. Here's 
Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just to tap them and took it to the basket. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Intercepted. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Him clean. Look at that spacing. In the paint. Foul plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. And now he's got a little something for the crowd. They're not going to like this. They're going to be offended. You've got that right, Brad. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Good. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Gave it up. On the outside. Leans in. Cincinnati are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Double team now. Bad angle. He takes it away. Yeah, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. There's a double team waiting there. And one too many dribbles and a steal. High stepping it, man. Take a look right here. Put a burst to go up in shorts. Look, ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. He squares up down on the low block. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. On the inside for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. And a momentary look from three-point land. And he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Two for one opportunity. Kicks off the lazy pass. Goes up for two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. That takes some pride on the defensive end. Shot clock is dead. Tries for two. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. <laughs> Working around the perimeter. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating to the spot. Tries to get the D to bite. For two, perfectly executed. the half. The Bearcats trail by 13. This has been a good one so far, folks. Dick, what's your take is the highlight of the half? No bigger shot in the first half for me than this three ball from downtown, baby. Teams build the confidence they need when the threes are falling. Well, let's head back down to the court for the start of the second half. Minnesota pulled down rebounds left and right in that first half, Dick. That's right. They were beating their men in a spot to grab the rock. That's how you control the glass, man. And that's how you control the game. Dick, two great players now heading into the second half. We watched them through the first half, and they played it pretty dead even. We'll see what happens here in the second half. I tell you what, not making mistakes, and both are doing a great job getting to the free throw line. I think that's been essential in their converting on a lot. 
and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. In the paint for the bucket. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. There they come with a double team to stop it. Goes up for two. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. And the ball goes out of play. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Looking for a good shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. From three-point land, way off target. Picks off the pass. Tries for two and off the mark. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. And he'll kick it back outside. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. This is worth the second look. There's the fake. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dump it inside. Got a wide open look. Launches away. Off the rim and no good. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. That's an 8 nothing run. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Moving it around the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Number one comes up with it. Nothing gonna come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. They scored 12 in a row. And he'll kick it back outside. 
Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Perfectly executed. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. the outside for the bucket nice job to create the angle using the glass stolen away here they go into the break hammers it down goes out of bounds and that's one too many turnovers yeah those turnovers are really a nightmare especially when they lead to layups <laughs> on the inside looking for a good shot he shoots from the top of the key he makes the shot He may be in trouble here, Brad. Goes up for two. Up and in. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Tries the three ball. It's good. Strips the ball. They get out on the break. Cincinnati are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Tries for two. In and out. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Number one grabs it. The ball goes out of bounds. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? We're going to move it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. Easy dude coming here, Brad. Nice little jam right there. The one hand jam and stuff. Little showtime. Little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. Steals the ball. Fast break possibility coming. Um, count it and the foul. That's how he likes it, baby. Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. He goes to the line for the first time. He buries it. That's a 7 nothing run. Nick, they're really going to have to monitor this because they've hit the bottom mentally. They're really going to be in some big, big trouble. Shoots from outside. You betcha. There's the trap. Stolen away. A little lane, stayed a little wider than 12 seconds. 
12 foot lead. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Takes the pass in the paint. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. It's a fast break possibility. Ball goes out of play. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us here. Well, Brad, in regards to our player matchup, it's a matter of one guy focusing and taking advantage of shot opportunities. He seems to be making the most of it tonight. Got the high pick and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. Ten on the shot clock. Jumps in. Up. Easy one. the dribble gives it up nice high post screen nice hops they move it into the front court front of the city now will always really the gate any offense number 13 with the foul Standing ovation, you've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. High post flashes for the ball handler. Entry pass in the paint. Almost lost the basketball. Great play to take that to the basket. The Bearcats aren't afraid to recruit some big-time athletes, especially if you look at their track record. They like to play a style of basketball that requires some gifted athletes. He strips him clean. Marries it home. Set up looking for contact. Number 52 with a finger roll. They work it around the perimeter. From downtown. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Gets it to fall. Here's a double team. He bombs from outside. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that jump. For two, perfectly executed. In the paint. And they get the turnover. They're off into transition. For the bucket, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Jumped in front to take it away. Go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. On loads. There was no doubt about that one. Number 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. The crowd loves this young man. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. Perfectly executed. That's a seven-zip run. Trying to draw some contact. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. Double team now. Bad angle. For the deuce. And he scores despite the hack. Let's see if it looks as good on the replay. They'll work it around the arc. Entry pass in the paint. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Looking for a good shot. Big finish coming here, partner. I'm not going anywhere. In close games like this, Brad, offensive and defensive execution is very important. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Easy one. Gets it back out. Tries for two. Off the rim and no good. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The Bearcats have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Up and inside. Picks off the lazy pass. The Golden Gophers are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. On the outside. Intercepted. On the outside. Top of the circle they work. He gets the rejection. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Takes the pass in the paint. Goes up for two. I love this guy, Hook. You can't unblock that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, bro, why don't more guys use it? Stolen ball. This crowd will go crazy if they get a shot to go down here. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The Golden Gophers have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Tries for two. I love this guy hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. For two. 
I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. They work the perimeter. From left of the circle, he gets the bucket to fall. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He fires it up. Rims out. They're not giving him a chance to get into transition. Great command of the floor. Up and in. He shoots from the top of the circle. The Bearcats have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. shot. Steals the pass. Way out on top. He blocks the shot. Off the rim and no good. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. And yet another foul. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. Clock stop with a foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Nobody likes this part of the game, and the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Working around the perimeter. Taken away. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. He has one and one. Makes the front end of the one and one. different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. We're going to move it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of play. 
You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. The small forward takes the pass. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. He gets it to fall. Shot clock is dead. Gave it up. He dials long distance. He drains the shot. On the outside. Cross court. Dick, we can talk about matchups all we want, but really it's not just always a one-on-one -on -one matchup. There's a lot of guys out there contributing. I'll tell you one thing, Brad, that's great to watch individually. But remember, this is a team game, so it's really how the team responds as a unit. Minnesota was caught in quite a battle tonight before pulling ahead for good. They'll be happy to walk away with a victory from such an evenly matched opponent. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.